so hard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh shit! I'm popping my fucking back for this one. Oh, <laughs> you ready? You ready for this? Yeah, yeah. 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 shit, boys. Welcome back, the, quick the OG boys. Podcast. Yeah, yeah, the OG. You know. Everybody from the team, I think, is going to pop in at some point. But welcome back. Quick Six of Podcast. You know, six beers, six topics. It's your boys, Pat Ars, Drew Pasley. God damn, look at that intro, though. I think I'm getting better at it. You doing um, good. You know what? You know, we got a rep. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that M Town Town. That M Town yeah. Town. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Drew just held up uh, Memphis made Lucid. If you're uh, viewing it on, uh, well, if you're just listening to the audio podcast. This episode is going to be entitled Memphis Mix Up because we're going to be featuring a whole bunch of Memphis beers um, from three different breweries that are sponsoring the show. So, yeah. you know, fuck it. You know, I'm, I'm, we're going to show them all right now, um, just in case we don't get to all of them. So, Drew, what did you have? You had a Memphis Made right. Lucid. Yeah, it's a Colch style, uh, just at 12 fluid ounces, you know, that classic size. Mm-hmm. Uh, 4.8 alcohol. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a light, light one. I might breeze through this one pretty quickly. So but yeah, up next I'll drink from hook point in Carville. This mm-hmm. is a, another Kolsch called cat shot. And, uh, yeah, it's like, it's a Kolsch style ale. What's a ABV is a 4.6. So a little bit lighter than the uh, Memphis made, mm-hmm. but, um, I'm down. It says a launch for a flavor. You know, I had to. I saw this in the picture. Pat's in a picture to the group chat. Mm-hmm. Showed a bunch of stuff. You know, I had to get that cap here. You know, yeah, from, yeah, yeah. You know, my homegirl Iris. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> and then, but my third one. And all. Uh, by the way, I gotta say thank you to Pat for sending this stuff. He didn't have to do it, but he went <laughs> went. He, he's gonna tell the story about how he got all these beers, but then mm-hmm. uh, he sent them to your boy because he still loved me. <laughs> All right, so here's another one from Hook Point. This is Haze Gray. It's a bigger can. It's a 16 ounce, looks like. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's also from, you know, uh, Hook Point. Mm-hmm. I think I said this earlier. It's Collierville, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. What is the ABV? What is it? All right, so 6.8. So that's that big boy. I'm going to wait. <laughs> I'm going to say for the last so I act yeah. like a fool for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, yeah we're ready. Yeah, we're ready. I think if you go back, I think we did, uh, we featured uh haze gray on an episode before me and Brittany maybe but yes. either way even if we didn't shit's gonna come out on right now um so second brewery we're gonna feature is meddlesome brewing company this is in cordova tennessee so mm-hmm. um super psych this is actually a special limited edition collaboration by hampline brewing company and meddlesome meddlesome called pedal to the metal it's very cool. It has a it has a bear on a bike over here. Really cool with like a double, that. you know, a little spike. It's that old school bike with a, with a, you know, the big front wheel. Yeah. Here's the two. Their two logos. The dudes at Metal Summer are, are cool as fuck. Um, uh, they are. If you have been listening to this show at all <clears throat> for any amount of time, you will have seen. Uh, we we've heard of us talk about the skate park in Memphis at some point. This is literally in that same complex so yeah if you're skateboarding in memphis and you remember a skate park in memphis go there and have some beers now because you're probably of age um it's fucking awesome it's not in the exact same like building but it's in the building right next to it so this is awesome this is a uh, pedal to the metal it's a sour ipa 8.0 this is what oh. we're gonna start with you with your boy so i'm just gonna go ahead and open this one real quick yeah go ahead get that Ooh, you did you mine you know how to get mine out so that you actually, I'm gonna make a one quick correction. There, so there's three breweries we're talking about. That's not the second one. This Memphis, is the second. Uh, one. Memphis Made is the first one. Hook Point, the third, the second. Oh my bad, my bad. Drew got two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, my bad. This is the third one. Um, this I actually previewed this already, and I like it a lot. But it is so interesting. It's like a sour, but it's a IPA at the same time. Yeah, it's super weird. Interesting. But. Yeah, this is a. Uh... I'm getting real, like it's real light, but uh, getting a lot of hop too. So, yeah, I mean, it's got, but like, look, it's kind of got like your hazy IPA type of look to it. Yeah, pretty citrusy, you know. Yeah. Shout out to to Metalsome. This uh, this they're super fucking cool. 
Um, yeah, so go check them out They're in Cordova, sure. basically right across the street from uh, Shelby Farms and stuff. It's pre- pretty bad. Uh, off Trinity, I believe. <clears throat> this is also one, if we get to it at a certain point, this is what I'm going to try to do at the end of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> from Middleson. Peaches come from a can. Oh this, my god. This 32 ounce 5.8 giant. Big as your head, bro. Bro. As big as your head. Hello, look at this. I had telephone. <laughs> Just that bureau phone, bro. Bro, somebody needs to get that for you for your birthday. Oh get my god. Phone. Um, Wait, say, say how big that one is again. I said that... 32 Crowler, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know. What, 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 we'll see what, what was happens. The, uh, it's what's a five point eight. Content? Five point eight. You know. Oh, okay. You know okay. This one I give. I want to give a shout out to. Um, I hope one of our other friends will have this uh, on the show today. Hook Point Brewings, uh, after burner red. It's a red ale or Irish ale. Is um, it's a five point one. Uh, it says red and at the ready at the way. So I, I was saying this earlier on an episode, but I think Hook Point needs to do more of these like, you know, cockpit, cockpit, like pinup type of situations. Like it's it's just cool. Like I, I think no one does that shit anymore. So yeah. this beer is really good. Shout out to Hook Point for hooking it Ooh. up. Oh, yeah. You know, you boy. I didn't know you had a little koozie. You know, you always got a hook koozie, got some shirt, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> got some stickers. I think I sent you a sticker. Sent me some stickers. Uh, but yeah, this is cool. This beer, this beer is really fucking good. If you go to Hook Point and get it, um, so. another Hook Point that I have also have the Hazy Gray over here. But um, last one that I have in you know locked and loaded is this Inky Barley uh, Scottish Stout Nitro, which this yeah. is the coolest logo ever, dude. Five point eight. Uh yeah, it's a you know stout nitro, so nitrogen the bottom nitrogen cap at the bottom or whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh yeah, dude, this is this is super cool. It's yeah. really good too. I had it. I tried it the other night. Really fucking good. Go and check your boys on Tapped for uh, official Quick Six or Score. So, <clears throat> anyways, let's get to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, this is your first time to the actual. Like an actual quick sixer podcast. Uh the the format, six beer, six topics, which your boys. We put up a shout out on uh social medias to see if anybody wanted to throw in some topics, but then of course we come up with our own topics. But first things first, actually I'm gonna wait for B for hers because if okay. she wants to hop on. Uh <clears throat> while we're on topic of Memphis, mm-hmm. first thing. You know, I hope everyone's being safe in Memphis after this like, crazy ass week that just happened. It's insane. Really is. Yeah. Um. You know, you man, know, it, that's wild. It really is, and and what's crazy is like there was some stuff going on right before the madness with the, the murders and the active shooter and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, we had a a meeting. For my job because a bunch of my co-workers work you know are still in memphis mm-hmm. and they um they were at one of the schools and about 12 cars got broken into including theirs like Damn. right there broad daylight middle of the day in the school parking lot uh and you know took a <clears> bunch <throat> of stuff but found out like well actually no they didn't take a bunch of stuff what they were looking for in uh was guns they were looking for people's guns. So Weird. that's like there's a new thing that I guess some gangs are doing. Or I, don't, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's a solo person, but they're looking for guns in, in people's cars in Memphis. So mm. <laughs> if you strap and like <laughs> keep that shit locked up, yeah, hell somebody's yeah. looking for it. Keep that shit home. Um, so, yeah, it's, yeah been, it's been pretty wild over there. Man. <clears throat> uh, I, hope, I hope everybody's doing OK. You know? Yeah. After uh, being down there just last week, uh I think it was your last week. Fuck. Yeah, on the first. So nine oh one day. Um yeah, man. It was just like there was a I felt like it was a good there was good vibes happening. Mm-hmm. And then all of this stuff starts happening or whatever. And 
Um, yeah, I mean, if yeah. we found out not just that one person went missing on September 1st, but quite a, a few people did. So, mm-hmm. you know, be safe. Um, you know, you know, you know, where's a good place to hang out, be safe. Hmm. Your, your local brewery. So go mm-hmm. ahead and hang I'll out. Take care. Of you. Yeah, let's take care of you, get you home. Um, go hang out. These breweries we mentioned, Memphis Made, Middleson, and uh, Hook Point. Well, you can, because they're, they're the shit. So go hang out there. Tell them we sent you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, that's our PSA for that shit. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> while we're on topic Memphis, though, um, the Tennessee Titans, their first, their opening game is today. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's not a Memphis thing, right? Mm-mm. Not necessarily, you know. Some people will probably rep them, whatever, in Memphis, but it's more of like a outside of Memphis. I, I feel like thing like people rep Tennessee football, right? Um, unless you're the University of Memphis, then you, you know, you're probably repping. But anyways, the reason I bring this up is because last year the Grizzlies had uh, three six mafia. Well, they used uh, whoop that trick as like their, you know, their. Uh, I don't know, like season song, like to get hype, you know, get that, get the stadium right. jumping, right? Mm-hmm. So the Titans this year were like, shit, we need that hype too. Who are we going to go to? Of course, we're going to go to Three Six Mafia. So of course, they enlist your boys, uh, Paul and Juicy, to uh, let them use who run it. I was like, damn, that kind of makes sense. Like fucking football and running, like come on, that's kind of dope. So. If you're watching, if you watch, I guess at this point, if you heard this, if you watch the uh, the Titans game and like like the new marketing, like it's going to be a whole season long thing apparently. So if you like the marketing, uh, let us know because I'm I'm pretty psyched about it. I think it's pretty cool that three six is finally getting love. Like fucking a decade after they broke up, <laughs> but uh, I think it's sick. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I always like it when they they come out some in some random way, you know. I mean, they are like hype. Like you listen to a song and you get hype, so it makes sense that like sports would, you know, be attracted to that. But I bet mm-hmm. that they haven't for so long because of how bad. I mean, how like you know language and all that stuff in the songs. <clears throat> but um, I mean, they are notable. Oscar winning. <laughs> oh. They have won an Oscar. So Yeah, it's pretty sick. That's it's pretty crazy to think that they, you know, have that kind of accolade cuz you know, that's from a uh, Hustle and Flow. But mm-hmm. um I don't know, it's crazy. It's cool. I like it. Yeah. I'm down. For um it. It's pretty cool. Like I know a dude at the Titans and I'm kind of bummed now that I didn't hit him up for tickets for today um, because we're recording this on september 11th so you know r.i.p on that too um <clears throat> but uh shouts out to all the depressing shit we're going to talk yeah, about right <laughs> downer episode what's yeah. that seasonal seasonal depression uh yeah. disorder <laughs> we're about to be on that tip right now <laughs> we got we got a drink we got pouring out for the homies yeah yeah all of them all all the homies um but I think it's sick, dude, that they're finally getting that hype. And hopefully I'll be able to go see. Because I think they're playing halftime mm-hmm. at the opening game. Mm. Probably like just this song, I would assume. And the song's only like three minutes long. So it's like. They got to do they got to do a whole show if they're playing at halftime. They got to do like a good 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? There's no way. There's no possible way you're getting 3-6 to do 30 minutes in a stadium. No way. <laughs> Uh, maybe 10 I mean, uh 15 price Pr- price is right <laughs> yeah. they're probably like <laughs> they follow juice how much money you want and they're like hold up because <laughs> they own all that shit like that's their theirs like yeah they don't owe anybody any master fees yeah um but yeah it's pretty insane <clears throat> uh so shout out to you boy adam he doesn't look like he's gonna join us but <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I had something that... drop recently though, right? Huh? Did y'all do a drop the needle? Dropping the needle? Yeah, recently? we did dropping the needle, uh, a Bowie episode. 
uh, go and check that out. That came out uh, on August 24th. Uh, it's pretty good. Cool. Go check it out on uh, you know, all your podcast services or YouTube. YouTube, if you want to see your boys, I think we, I think, I think it was a really good episode. Um, because you know, I, you know, I'd be loving some Bowie. Mm -hmm. Don't talk about, don't talk about Iggy at all. Iggy Pop. Uh, yeah, Bowie actually, episode? yeah, I talked about Iggy. Uh, I talked about your wife. Um, <laughs> really, <laughs> <laughs> she loved Bowie. I know. Yeah, talk to her, her for a second. Yeah, it got weird. Um, what? <laughs> You can't say that after saying you just talked about my wife. <laughs> you can't say they got weird after that. Dude, uh, I, I went to, uh, I was going to tell you, speaking about Bowie, I went to the state fair. Uh, they have one in LA, you know, where mm -hmm. the racetracks are, the horse racetrack in Arcadia. Yeah. It's just that big mall, you know. Tony got married there. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> That's great. You did. So, so I, I, it's just a funny imagery, but I'm sure it was nice. Uh, I was so, a groomsman. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the horse in the background. They went, no, anyway. no, no. It wasn't like with the horses. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, they had a state fair that was dope. Like, it was really cool. They had an extreme circus so people were doing like motorcycle stunts and the ball you know how they do that shit that whatever crazy yeah uh i thought we almost saw somebody die he was doing this weird stunt where he was like going up and down this like circle thing like i wasn't like a hamster wheel because it wasn't moving but it was like going mm -hmm. up like 50 feet in the air or maybe even higher than that i don't know anyway it was crazy he tripped like twice <clears throat> at the top and he oh, almost wow. fell uh we just wanted him to get down because that was enough but anyway long story <laughs> short i was at this fair and they had I, I we didn't buy anything we bought all this cash to like buy stuff we were just riding rides and eating food and stuff and i was like i want to get something you know yeah and so i saw a dude with a coaster stand so he had like coasters of like all these artists like you know oh, actors cool. and things like that musicians and stuff and I was asking him if he had any Bowie, and he was like, I got this one, but it's like kind of scratched up. You could have it for free. No. Oh. And, and I was like, oh, cool. And I ended up buying like another like uh, Cesar Romero Joker, you know, the dude with just the stash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wouldn't sh shave his stash off. I bought that. And then I got the the David Bowie one, and it's like a Rolling Stone uh, cover of him. And I was like, I was like, I don't even see the scratches on it, but it's dope. It's a, they're the cheapest, stupidest coasters I ever bought, but at least I have something from the state fair. Yeah, that's cool. I think our state fair is happening right now. I'm not sure though. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <clears throat> you know oh, what they, they should bring a, back? They had a gravitron. Remember that? Oh God, yeah. I keep, you know, this is that's so weird. You say that. That's like the ninth time I've heard that word, and like <laughs> been it been mentioned like in the gravitron? last gravitron. Yeah, in the last few months. Like who is just talking about gravitrons? But... Bro, speak speaking of, I want to say one more thing. I know mm -hmm. we're going off on a tangent in the state fair, but I went to the. I did that ride where it goes up real slow, gets to the top, and then drops straight down. You yeah, know what I'm talking about? fuck that. No, so yes. I did that ride, and I convinced Catherine to do it, and she was scared. We did it. It's not a big deal. But then, like two days later, we saw an internet video of one of those rides failing, and then heard like hurting a bunch of people. Like oh fell, my... like fell from the top, slammed down to the ground, and I was oh like, "Oh my god, <laughs> bro, you gonna die in it?" I, I, I ain't riding anymore. I'm done with it. I don't know. Uh, that's. I was gonna bring up this this thing, but oh god, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> Listen, we go on a depressing. I know we on a depressing like tangent right now. Yeah, we got to. We gotta uh, get all this stuff off our chest, you know. I know, I know. Speaking of depressing, let's go ahead and get it out of the way. Shout out to your girl, the Queen. You know, ninety six years deep. You know, took, it, took an L finally. The, the big Q took the big L, <clears throat> bro. Mm -hmm. It did. It seemed like she was gonna live forever for a bit, though. I was definitely thinking. I'm like, yo, when, like, what year did you become a vampire? Like, yeah, I, I, I mean, I was really thinking. I was like, you haven't changed in a while, like. You've yeah. been looking at same queen, you know, for a minute. Yeah. yeah. 
it it's it kind of blew my mind to think about all the shit she lived through dude and like, wild right it is wild like there's like, it's a list as long as <laughs> this of the historical events that she you know mm-hmm. has endured you know hell yeah it's uh insane like the shit that she's she's seen i was yeah. thinking about uh, like i saw a like small list and i was like what the fuck like bro you've been queen for how long like yeah been through world wars fucking pandemics pandemic like oh, yeah, pandemics. i didn't even think about pandemic i didn't even think about this shit like recent she shit there are a lot of them bro can you even imagine like you were around to see the creation of television first of all and then the internet <laughs> and then cell phones <laughs> Like just the technology and jet, like is, and, and you know what she was crazy. most fascinated with? Hmm. Cows. Oh, dude, you I see love that it. video? Yeah, she oh, see that cows. Video? Cows. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit! I shared that shit. <laughs> I was like, fuck me, yeah, me too. Every time I see a cow, I see you do the same thing. Uh, that's funny. I mean, you gotta imagine like her life has never been normal. No. I mean, I bet it's normal to her, but like, if th- if you think about like what she had to live through, she couldn't go out, she couldn't do normal shit, she had to be no. guarded, you know, twenty four seven. Yeah, it's pretty wild. That's, it was crazy. I feel but bad. She loved I mean, cows. She loved. She cows. did love cows, just like me. You know, that's the only thing we got that in common. You know, uh-huh. y'all <clears throat> had that in common. We did. We did. You know, shout out to my girl. It's uh, yeah, man. It's it's pretty rough, I, pretty sad. It also, out of, just out of the blue, too, you know. Yeah, she shook the hand of the new prime minister or whatever, like two days before that, right? I didn't even see that, but yeah, that sounds right. I mean, time wise, white, right? Oh, this, yeah, that sounds right. That's like, how insane is that? You know, like, all right, yeah, here's another prime minister boom and then like i'm out you know yeah but like i don't know about you but like sometimes you can you can tell when people are like dying but i don't know man she just like kind of looked like some kind of yeah there was there was pictures of her she looked kind of frail but she did look like high spirited you know nothing was wrong or whatever Mm -hmm. and then i remember what's crazy is uh, there was a, a post about, it was like a Reddit post about her health, uh, and there was like doctors like around the clock or something like that. And then mm-hmm. the next day, they were, you know, they posted about her dying or whatever. But that's how crazy how like secretive that shit can be. Cause mm-hmm. like even rumors can get washed under, you know, like pretty much anything yeah. that you say about somebody <clears throat> of that stature. Nobody's gonna believe it until they see it. Yeah, it's it's pretty wild. Yeah, I remember like who's the last like I don't know. I would count the queen as like a celebrity, you know. Like oh, she's yeah. like she's got that. Like when do you think is the last like big celebrity that was like kind of shocked you? It was like, damn, really? Mm. I don't know. I mean, time. shocked me, shocked me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really. I haven't really focused. I haven't focused too much energy. I just every time a celebrity dies, I'm just like, oh damn. Yeah, me too. But like, I wasn't shocked about the queen. I guess. I mean, she's old. Well, she was old. But like, I guess like when I was like when you were like, oh wow, you know, like when when was the last person that you you think? I mean, truthfully, the one that shocked me the most was Robin Williams. Like that was like when that shit happened. But that's not recent, you know. No, nah, that was a while ago. You're talking. You're trying. You're trying to like think I about can't... somebody who recently died. Yeah, I can't think of anybody. I can't think of anybody either. Yeah, I feel like everybody. <clears throat> I don't know. Should we think... just go? Just should just go deep into this depressive topic and just no, look no, at no. Who, what celebrities actually... have died? No, no, no. What's it? What's it? What's it? Let's we'll skip. Let's we'll skip ahead. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> All right. Speaking of uh, you know, scary shit like death. Any um, any horror movies you've seen lately? Since since it's about to be spooky season, 
you know, I think we should talk about a few horror movies or suggestions mm. that you got for spooky season. I'll mm. go first so you can think. Okay. Right now, if you have Peacock, I believe, um, you can watch The Black Phone with Ethan Hawke. You watch it yet? I haven't, but I want to. Black Phone, pretty fucking good. I was really excited about it. Like, okay. really not creepy, but like, definitely, um, I don't know. I could see it happening. Like, it was one of those type of situations. It was mm. very weird. Mm. Also, when you get to the end and you realize what the fuck is about to happen, you're like, oh, shit. Shit's about to get real. So mm. that I always suggest you watch the screen movies. Love them. Um, yeah. If you're going into it for the first time, they're not terribly scary at all. They're just mostly fun. I think that's why I like them. Mm -hmm. um go pick those up uh if you're into like gaming and you want to do some some spookies go ahead and play uh shit what the fuck until dawn super Mm -hmm. fun if you got if you got a playstation go ahead and play that uh or any of the little or the uh what's it called that collection the fuck is that collection called well, so, spooky? spooky? Yeah, like the, the collection of games that the people that made Until Dawn making. Mm. What the fuck is that called? Uh, I don't know. I forget right now. Oh, you are forgetful, so. I am right now. Uh, this is just beer hit me, just Middleson. You know what oh. I'm saying? It's Middleson's. Let me see. The <laughs> Middleson's. Uh, all right, for me, let's see. I haven't really watched any new horror films recently. What you want to say something else about this? It's the Dark Dark Pictures Anthology. That's the games the the wrote the set of games. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I'll tell you a couple of things. I'm I want to see Black Phone, and I think I do have Peacock because of you. So, <laughs> shouts out to your boy. Shout your boy. Uh, uh, so I'll watch that. Another film that's out that I really want to watch with your boy Justin Long. Uh, Barbarian. Have you seen the trailer to this? No, but I just saw a poster for it. So and I was like, "Oh, okay." So I'm I'm curious because it's got like the from the producers of it, like the new it, like, mm-hmm. you know. So it's, I think it's gonna be like really well done. Um, mm-hmm. but also like I just gotta support my boy. You know, Justin. Mm-hmm. His career went somewhere, uh, and I feel like it's coming back. So hopefully, dude. Um, I don't. What happened to him? Like, he started doing like more indie stuff and horror stuff. I think he's like really into horror stuff because I think wasn't he in that Jeepers Creepers movie? He's in Jeepers Creepers. He's in Tusk. Tusk. He's in, yeah. He's in a bunch of like random horror movies. I really like him a lot, and I I want to see him in, in more stuff. But uh, yeah. But that's anyway. So Barbarian. Mm-hmm. They did this really cool thing where there's two tra- trailers and both of the trailers are exactly the same, except for there's two actors. One of them's Justin Long and another is this this uh, female a- is actress. And I uh, I was like, damn, this is dope. So there's like there's like something that this house, this, you know, this person is doing and they're not like explaining it enough, which is like mm. what a trailer should be. Yeah, like, boy. You get a whole been movie. Yeah. Whoever's been editing trailers for the past five years needs to stop. They need to get five. fired. Fucking fifteen Ten years, bro. Come Twenty on. years. Yeah. Bro, it's it's been madness. Like watching a trailer in the first minute and a half tells you every single thing mm-hmm. about the movie. It's like ah. that's why I was like, I just want to watch like a teaser, maybe if if I'm into it and then I'm you know, whatever. So Barbarian, looking forward to that. If you want to go to classic. You know, mm-hmm. I gotta go to hey, Hocus Pocus. You know, what I'm saying? ooh, shout out to Hocus Pocus two coming out in nineteen days from now. Ooh. from recording on Damn. the Disney Plus, you know, for free. That's a that's a good <clears throat> ass thing, bro. I, how crazy is that? In your lifetime, did you ever think you'd see a Hocus Pocus two? I didn't, but I will say I I did learn an interesting fact. 
I don't know the whole facts. So I don't even know if I should say it, but the mm-hmm. the famous song "I Put a Spell on You," yeah, was not originally a part of the script. Really? Yeah, and they brought on somebody like another writer, and he was like, "Nah, bro, we gonna put this in here." <laughs> yeah, that's just hard. That's <laughs> it's the like the most the famous movie. thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, shit. They based uh, the whole trailer for the second movie off of that. Yeah. Like, oh, you girls want to? You headed for the stage and like, yeah, bitch, we are. <laughs> <laughs> also, how insane is it that they got all three of them to come back for that movie? That's crazy. Dude, I'm so excited for that shit. Oh, all the other thing, other fact I learned is Leo was going to be the dude, Leonardo DiCaprio. He you know what? If you check out role. Homeboy's hair, you kind of it kind of makes sense. He was offered that role and he turned it down to do what's eating Gilbert Grape. Didn't he Which... win an Oscar for that? Oh no, he didn't. Ha! He didn't win an Oscar for like 30 fucking years. He probably got a curse from not doing that. You know what I'm saying? That's why he yeah, didn't get the about. Oscars. That's what I'm talking about. Damn. But I mean his career worked out, it's fine. Yeah. He it out. All he needs is women under 25. And Bro. a challenging role. That's all he needs. I I felt like I got hit with a ton of bricks with that fact because I had no idea. I had I never followed it, never focused on it. And then all of a sudden he there's a news article about him breaking up with this girl that's 25. <clears throat> and all of yeah. a sudden you find this whole like it's a, a whole plethora. tree, bro. Yeah. It's, it's a, a tree. Yeah, this man got a a, a web. <laughs> he said he said, Oh, you done. We're gonna cocoon your ass at 25. You done. <laughs> your boy said, I keep getting older, you will stay the same. He age. is he is that guy. He is McConaughey in fucking uh what's that movie? Uh doesn't matter. But yeah. Shut, shut, days and confused. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to your boy uh Leo though. Like, you know, you be doing your thing. He is he in anything upcoming? Like I yeah. feel like he got he was in a bunch of shit that like either got canceled or delayed or whatever. Yeah, well, he got he had that uh once upon a time. Did he have something after that? No, like something... dude, that was like years ago too. I feel like there was something after that. I don't know, but anyway, I think he lost a bunch of weight and he's doing something. He, he that boy he he got specific projects. He's not gonna do any film, you know. No, he got integrity. No, he mm-hmm. got like he got fascination. That's what his shit is. You know what I'm saying? He's like, <clears throat> I want to work with these specific people. And then he'll like he'll work with him like Chris Nolan, he'll work with him, or mm-hmm. like uh Scorsese, and like he'd be like, Oh shit, you know what? I'm gonna be Scorsese's muse right now. I'm about to get on this muse life. Yeah. And just be like doing like speaking nine of, films with this motherfucker. Speaking of muse life, I'm gonna go to two's life. Mew? Yeah, they cat shot that Mew. That Kolsch from uh yeah. Puck Point. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. I hear no bus. crack. I hear no crack at all. How is it? I haven't had that one yet. Oh, hmm. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. This is uh... all right. So this one, the Memphis, uh, the Memphis made. Yeah. So this was also Kolsch, but it was like hoppy. There was some hop, so I almost felt like a really light IPA. This one, however, is what I thought. A culture should taste like, which is like it's really light. It's almost like um it's almost like a really light pilsner. You yeah. know? So you're you're not getting a bunch of taste, which is which is I think it said a, a launch of flavor. I'm not getting that, but I'm digging it. Okay. This is like this is like that uh this is definitely a beach beer for sure. Okay, okay. Midday lunch beer. You know what I'm saying? Man. You know Maybe what a one breakfast thing? beer. Ooh. You know, that's that's the thing I miss about us hanging in, in California. Them beach beers. Oh. <sighs> them beach beers, bro. Them them skate park, them beach beers was the best kidding. days. The I was best, the best days. days. <laughs> best days of our lives. Oh, my God. Just get, hey, you know what? How about we get faded and go drive an hour away to the beach and skate? <laughs> Not in that order. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. It was in a different order. <laughs> For legal reasons, not in that order. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. We drive out, then we get faded. 
Then we go to the beach. Well, and for not in that order either. <laughs> so we got to get to the beach, drive out, skate, go to the beach, get faded, get faded. go into the beach. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Man, bro. There, that was some shit back then. That was the best. <clears throat> Anyways. Speaking of what's not the best. Oh, oh shit. Uh, speaking of, oh, not the best either. Um, Brittany's on her way to go see Guar, mm-hmm. so she can't hop on the show, but <laughs> she says shout out fucking Guar. Shout out from Guar. All right, so I'm going to, I I showed this a little earlier, but Drew, I think it's time. Because, you Are know. You getting that big boy? Big boy yeah. empty. You know what I'm saying? Come on, I'm on two. You're on two? Well, this is about to be fucking four, so like. <laughs> You know, uh, here we go. That three whole beers in one. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Oh, I heard a little bit of it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think our mics are picking up too good. Yeah. Peaches come from a can, 5.8, meddlesome. Um, <laughs> when I was there, I was talking to the boys about this. Uh, at meddlesome. They were, we were, they gave me. Uh, a whole bunch of other beers for the team. Mm. And then we were talking about this one. I was like, oh, what's that one? You know, it was on their board or whatever. And, uh, you know, check out our Instagram, uh, Quick Sixer Podcast, Please. for some pictures of the trip there and, like, some of these breweries. And go ahead and check out our uh, brew review with um, that I just posted on September 6th with mm. some beers from Hook Point. But with a beer from Hook Point, mm-hmm. um, it was a special beer. It was pretty cool. Um, so this Meddlesome one, I'm talking to the boys about it, and it w- wasn't in a can. So they were like, oh, like I didn't even say anything. Dude just like started filling up this growler or this uh, crowler about it. And I'm like, all right, cool, you know, whatever. So it's that deep pour right here. Uh, oh, it's a long pour for everybody who's listening in. <laughs> My, my boy, <laughs> he only filling up some of the glass. Ooh, look at that! Kind of dark. No, you know still, how you see like a just one third of it, bro. That's not even barely. Probably one third of it, but <laughs> one four. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Oh, you can have a whiff in it. <laughs> boy, a dog sniffing. <laughs> <laughs> the dog life, though. Um, uh, go ahead and take your little sippy. Let me hear. Yeah, mm. move that head out the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. Oh, he pouring more. He likes no. that. No. Oh. <clears throat> not, no, no, I don't like it. But no, like, no, I'm not pouring anymore right now. Um, it's the peach flavor. Maybe as I keep going, it'll get stronger, but <clears throat> hmm. I don't know what it is, man. Like you gotta express somehow. I know, I'm trying I'm trying to think. All right. <clears throat> you know how when you walk into a brewery, it smells a certain way? Mm-hmm. This beer tastes like that smell. Like, so like I'm of, not positive how to like explain it more. It's like uh, that, but if you like mixed with peaches. All right, so you got some hops in there. Mm-hmm. Peach in there. Yeah. Citrus or what? Nah, doesn't feel like any citrus. It's very sawdust. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's good. So yeah, shout out to Melson. Peaches come from a can. Five point eight. Mm. Um. Ooh, it's got a peachy burp to it too. That's mm. always nice, you know. Yeah, you Anyways, <clears throat> uh, speaking of nothing else, um, bro. <laughs> We've been, we were talking about, I since you have that cat, Kolsch, actually, 
Uh -huh. Um, let's get let's give a little shout out to Stray on the PS4, PS5. Oh, we gotta talk about Stray. We gotta talk about Stray, okay? Um, so if you haven't played Stray, <clears throat> Stray is like a I, I I don't know, Drew. You tell me if I'm wrong on this, but it is basically a future or near future cat simulator. I would say. Mm. I mean, it has some story to it, but that's the gist. I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'd say like dystopian more than I would say near future. I'd say like a dystopian future cat simulator. Okay. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah, because there's, there's no, no there's no people. No, it's no real life. It's based where this cat gets trapped down in this robot world. Mm -hmm. You know? And then yeah, shit happens and you're you act like a cat. Bro, that first the opening scene of that is hilarious. You just doing the scratches and stuff, and you doing <laughs> like it makes you do the cat all the things. things. Yeah, yeah, I love it. <clears throat> um, me and Meg, I don't know. I think you guys did too, but me and Meg played this completely like co-op. Well, like not co-op, but like couch co-op, like passing sure back and did. forth. Yeah. Same. Did you uh? Did y'all encounter any glitches? Yeah, actually, we did too. Oh, 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 I'm so excited to hear about yours. Okay, I'll tell you mine and tell me if yours is this is the close to the same. Yeah. Um, when you're collecting the sodas in mm. the first, I guess you town world, there's one that's like on a balcony near some dude sitting on a couch, and we fell through the fucking floor uh. and had to restart from a save that was like mid way far back. Yeah. What happened to you? Similar. We it wasn't we didn't fall <clears throat> through, but we hopped to a balcony and then we were on the corner of the balcony and got stuck. And mm. we couldn't move. We could but I bet it was the same area because if your glitch happened doing the same thing that we were doing, I bet it was one of those balconies over there that was just like messed up. But what's crazy is I mean it's not crazy. So that glitch happened that night. And then I woke up the next morning to an update. So oh, I bet yeah. Me too. A bunch of people had probably complained about it. Mm -hmm. There was like probably one area. Where, were you in that like the the city or like the slums area? It was the happened? first area. The first like, yeah. big area. So the yeah. slums. So yeah, it must have been in there. It was like a, there was like a whole glitch area or something like that. Yeah. It was like some shit where you had to collect three sodas or something or some bullshit from vending machines. Yeah. That's when it happened to us. Yeah. The story was good. I kind of, I'm digging that like same thing for the first Spider-Man. Like I like how quickly you can get through the story because mm -hmm. sometimes if a gameplay takes too long, you lose some of that. Cause like you'll you go to work, you'll do other things. But like if you mm -hmm. could play through a story in a night or like a couple, you know, a weekend, it's fun because you remember everything. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Um, that's kind of <clears throat> unless it's specific games. That's basically the only way I can get Meg to play video games with me. Um, but it's <clears throat> I don't know, man. It was it was super cool. I, I'm kind of bummed. Uh, Connor didn't jump in because I think they played straight too. Mm. And it's like, um. Dude, I don't know. Like, I was, I was, I was so psyched when I saw the trailer for it, but like, same. When it actually came out, I was like, oh man, I really hope it's not shit. You know. Well, it was free. Yeah. Well, yeah. With the with the premium gent, you know that premium gent. You know what I'm saying? I think honestly, I think Stray probably got a bunch of people to join premium. Oh yeah. Because I joined, I joined premium because of it. Yeah. Oh, I mean, if not just joined it, but like definitely. Um, helped it along and help people like get in there, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I joined premium, I think the day I released just because I felt like it. Yeah, also, when we're done uh recording, I gotta tell you a little little hack uh to that, oh, but um, but yeah, I found something kind of I don't know if it's what the fuck is up with it, but I gotta tell you, <clears throat> but um, everybody who's listening is like, well, now wait a minute, oh, yeah, 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 um. Yeah, hit me up. DM that quick sixer podcast if you want it, if you want to know what I'm talking about. Um 
But yeah, dude, that the story was crazy um and good and bro, those little like things that come at you fucking oh. terrifying. Terrifying, yeah. bro. Like fuck those things. That was scary. That the... shit was it was like it felt like almost like uh like Doom or Metroid or something when you're like in that yeah. one area with like the all that shit was like in there, like growing sewers, maybe. I think the sewers. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, like running from them, it reminded me of Crash Bandicoot when you had those levels where you had to Uh, run from the like thing coming because it's like terrifying because you can't really see. You're like running backwards. You're trying to get away from them. It's Mm -hmm. dark. Like the whole mechanics of that game. It was great. Like there was some there was some like things that tripped me up. There was one level. I don't even we might have had to look up a walkthrough to get through it. I can't remember, but. It was in one of the like the apartments and the lasers in the apartments. And you oh, remember when that that person yeah, that that, yeah. that robot was missing and you had to find him in the after. city part, yeah. And it was like a certain way you had to walk around. Yeah, yeah. There was there were some lasers in a gel cell. I think is what it was, and mm-hmm. you had to like figure out how to get. And I don't know why. We, it was a really simple fix. Like a really simple thing to do, but we didn't think of it. And I was like, damn, we spent yeah. an hour trying to figure this shit out. Bruh, and that shit happens to me all the time. Like there was um so I recently beat um Legend of Zelda the Wind Waker recently. Mm-hmm. Or Wind Waker HD on the Wii U. Um <clears throat> and bruh, there is some like shit in there that you're like, it's hella simple, but you're like, ah, what the fuck? Or like, um, and I'm currently playing Majora's Mask on the 64, like the actual gold cart or whatever. And bro, that game is so obscure. And but like some of the shit in it is just so fucking simple. And you're just like, why didn't I think about that? And like the thing is, because it's it's so weird. Like who would fucking think of whatever the solution is? But yeah, uh, I don't know, man. Stray. I don't know. I don't think they're going to. I don't know if they'll make a sequel. Yeah, I mean, it Might. seemed, it seemed. I mean, I don't <clears> want to <throat> say gimmicky, but it seemed like a one-off thing for sure. Yeah, and I, I enjoyed the shit out of it, but I don't. I mean, I felt satisfied after it. I don't feel like there's nothing. I don't feel like there's anything that you could uh, revisit from that world that would entice me to, you know, get the second one. But mm-hmm. I mean, who knows? You know, a game about a cat. People love cats. <clears throat> You come yeah. up with a whole different premise and still, mm-hmm. you know, did your did your like, cat do anything? Did did your cat watch you play? Uh, I'm looking at her right now. Um, I I think she did. We tried to get her to. We put her up here on the desk to watch as yeah. we played. I think she watched for a second, but uh, we had the audio up. That's what it was, and we tried it. We kept meowing to see. Yeah, we did the same uh, thing. I don't know. <laughs> They did. Iris didn't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I think Banks didn't give a shit either. And uh, Oscar just laid on the back of the couch, like right over here on this blanket. Yeah. You can see it in the video uh-huh. version. He's not there right now, actually. But yeah, go ahead and <clears throat> check out Stray if you get a chance. It's only like 20 bucks or something, 30 bucks. I think it's yeah, worth it for like the. the yeah, or you get the premium. Uh, I think it's worth it. It's only like a yeah. few hours long, it's four hours, play. three hours. It's definitely satisfying for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, for sure. I think check um, it out. It's I, you so texted unique. Me, speaking of video games, you texted me like a couple, like a week ago about playing Mario Kart, and I actually just pulled that out and played it last night. Oh yeah. Um, what you said you were trying to do something cool. What did y'all end up doing on Mario <laughs> Kart? Well, I wish Connor was here to to explain, but uh, actually, let me, let me let me follow up with him. Maybe he can explain real quick. Um, uh, I'll, <clears throat> I'll give a little thing about Mario Kart real quick. That okay. um, so the mechanics of that game, uh, it's so much more forgiving than the sixty four version, but um, you like I am nowhere near as good as I was when I first got that game. No, like when I when I first got that game, anybody that played with me and the fucking 
you know, bots that, that are a part of it, mm -hmm. I would be like a half of a length of the map away from everybody else because I was so fast, you know, mm -hmm. now I'm, I feel like I'm doing the same shit. I feel like I'm sliding, feel like I'm doing the power slides and all that stuff, but I cannot do it. I try to play 150 CC. I still don't have a gold trophy for one of the things. For, for 150 one the, CC? Uh, for 150 CC. Mm. Or yeah, for 150 CC. Are you but, are um, you have you tried the the new the expansion uh courses? No. We were we were going to, but we didn't realize that they were expansion. We had to pay for it. And we mm. saw we were like, whoa, what's this shit? I was yeah. like, oh shit, there's new new stuff. If you have the 64 online uh thing. Which I thought I did, but it didn't yeah, it you didn't should have it then. I'll I'll take a look and see. I, I can walk you through how to look for it. It's weird how to like, they don't show up immediately. Like you have to press like R one or something to slide over to them. So yeah. it's I I mean I've seen I know I saw we saw it and we went to it and it said you have to have the expansion pack plus this for mm -hmm. these games. So we clicked through it and I was like I because I thought that I bought the sixty four stuff, but maybe it was maybe I didn't do it because. Remember when the Mario 64 Sunshine and Galaxy came out on a, on a, you know, I think since I bought that, I was like, I don't need the 64 stuff because I have a 64 mm. and I got yeah. that. But I, we did start playing that uh, Mario 3D uh, after. Have you played this yet? The new the new Mario platformer yeah. with a Bowser's Fury as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bowser, dude, Bowser's Fury is awesome. Yeah, we haven't played that one yet, but we've been playing the other one, which was, was pretty fun. Three D World is fucking hard. Like it's, it's hard. It's hard to play even like with somebody else. Like Catherine and I play it exclusively together, mm -hmm. and if one of you fucks up, <laughs> yeah, it's, one of it's, you it's goes fucking off, hard. Like it's hard. Yeah, I started playing it um, before I got the the collection or whatever. I was playing it on Wii U, and I'm like, God damn, like. I think I'm in I stopped at a certain point when I got the collection, but I think I was at like world four or five or something. And yeah. like I was trying to <clears throat> beat it all the way through like where I was at. And bro, that shit is so goddamn hard. Like yeah. dude, bro, you need to hop into Bowser's Fury though. It's yeah. it, it's awesome. Uh and it's have you do you know anything about it? It looked like it was more of a kind of what was that the mario that came out with this with the switch odyssey the odyssey it looked kind of like that is it like that <clears throat> uh i mean ish. it's more like like it's it's, it's not ish. like an open world is it or is it an open yeah world? kind of it is actually um there's no like worlds yeah you don't like go into like levels or anything like That's, it it sounds fun. I, like I mean, it's one, it, so. it's like one giant map. It's it's kind of dope, dude. You don't look up anything about it. You just play yeah. it first, and then when you're when you've played it, try to play it today, and then text me because you're gonna be like, you're literally gonna be like, what the fuck? Are are you serious right now? <laughs> like it is, it's crazy for real, but it's so cool. Um, especially you've been playing the other one. Um, and you've played the cat suit shit with it, so this is a kind of uh, cat focused on huh, this whole episode. It's a cat thing, you know. <clears throat> that cat, that cat ability is pretty dope. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's one of the dopest abilities I think there has ever been, probably. But uh, <clears throat> anyways, it doesn't look like Connor's hopping in, so I'm gonna tell you about his creation, his fucking oh. sadistic creation. Oh yeah, um, Connor decided to create a specific uh format of playing online and it has like registered a website for it and like all this all this shit <clears throat> and it is called uh it is called Fuck, I, I really want to tell you the the exact same the exact thing what it's called. I'm looking at it right now, looking at these texts because I know we talked about it like a day ago. 
or a few days ago. Um, it's the boys. I know, I know. It's terrible. Just a terrible person. So bad, so bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Hang on, everybody. Sorry. Getting to it. This shit is just. I wanted him to come on so he could talk about it, but it's just like it's, it's insane. Like straight up. What, bro? Okay. Okay, I found the text. Here it goes. In his words. It's called 48 Baby Park. Um, basically, what happened is his buddy came over and they got super drunk and they came up with this concept. And he wanted he wants to make a league out of it. OK, it's called 48 Baby Park. And <clears throat> he says the ideal number. Um, oh, he just texts me back. <laughs> Fuck. Is he coming on? Yeah, I think so. All right, so he could explain it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to tell him even on his phone if he wants. Anyways, it's called 48 Baby Park. I'm going to let Connor explain it to it. It looks like he's going to jump on. All right. Um, but it is absolutely nuts. And it takes like... All right, this motherfucker's like, oh, yeah, it'll take like an hour and a half. I know this man was drunk when he made this shit up because this shit, we played for an hour and a half and we only got halfway through. Like, it yeah. was, this man must have played fucking Baby Park for three hours straight with his buddy. <sighs> baby Park is crazy, too. Yeah. Because you don't know... If you pass somebody, you know, what place? Dude, all right. So it's it's 48 Baby Park. And <clears throat> uh, yeah, 48 Baby Park. You're right, though. It's fucking insane. And it's bombs only. Okay. Oh, yeah. Bombs only. Uh, he says the ideal number of people is eight people and four computers. And you do it in teams, kind of. And this boy abstract. Yeah, this man, it, I'm telling you, dude, he has like a whole rule set for it. And it's like 40, you do f literally 48 races of Baby Park. And at. However many laps you have to do baby park, right? And you do it at 150 cc. Bombs are the only uh, pickup you can get. And you play it. Yeah, that's that's basically the situation. And when you set it to 48, you literally do it. The, the, the one race 48 times. And dude, it takes forever. And it's absolutely insane. We're going to have to have him on here to talk about it. Or we can, you can hop, oh, fuck. Or you can hop on a, uh, a, uh, game night and we'll talk about it there. I, uh, this makes me think of, uh, my bachelor trip when you and I were in the back seat just playing, uh, Mario Maker 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Over and over again, trying to beat the hardest levels that people have made. I was thinking about that the other day, actually. This is like halfway done, by the way. Uh, oh. Easily. Um, I was thinking about that the other day, like how 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 crazy was that? Just as a time, a period in time when like Mario Maker Two was just popping. Well, it was before everything crazy in the world happened. Yeah. What's funny is like we played that as we left. Our hurricane, like literally yeah. drove out of a hurricane to go to Memphis. Mm -hmm. We were playing that game. Yeah. I remember you convinced me to buy it. 
bought it <clears throat> you do that you'd like to do that you'd like yeah. to convince me to buy things that's true also you were not the way all right i'm gonna explain how i i met like managed to yeah. convince you i remember that's why this is why it was popping my brain because i was thinking about like, how did i convince him to buy that and then i popped in my uh, head it popped in my head how it happened and i was like oh that's pretty smart basically what happened was i was showing you the game let you played it play it on my switch Ooh, that haze gray though, Drew. You're really gonna like this beer. I'm, I'm dead serious. The haze gray from Point, uh, <clears throat> Hook Point. That's sweet, sweet. Yeah, it's, it's like a, yeah. it's like a Earl Gray tea with a, with a. Mm. Well, I like that. Yeah, right. It's like it's weird. It's like a sweet, or it feels sweet, but maybe because I've had all these like. These yeah. cultures, I like it a lot. I'm yeah. yeah, I'm sipping on that IPA, haze gray and IPA. Why does it say and IPA, Pat? Uh, because I think it's like it's basically like a, uh, a it's like between, an Earl Grey tea Earl mixed gray with with a yeah, it's with with an IPA taste. Oh, you boy gonna get caffeinated and then faded. Yeah. So we're in the back of this truck driving from a hurricane, like it's. Like it's we're in fucking Twister or something, mm-hmm. and we're playing this Mario Kart or uh, Mario Maker two, and I'm telling Drew I'm like, hey man, you should try this. It's it's super fun and it's like kind of addicting. Drew tries a couple. We we start passing it back and forth, whatever, and he's like, man, I'm gonna have to buy that shit. And I'm like, yeah, you should buy it. And he was I he, I don't think he knew how I was playing it, but um. I'm like, yeah, man, you can buy it, Ian. Well, you buy it right now if you want. And he goes, ah, you know, but, but I don't have any, we're, we're not, we, like, I don't have any Wi-Fi. Like, I can't be buying it on, you know, I don't have no Wi-Fi to buy this shit right now. I'm like, Drew, you, you know, phone has a hotspot, bro. We can, we can do this right now. And, yeah, from that, Drew was like, oh, shit, really? Yeah, and... you, were, you were telling me about, uh, you told me to bring my Switch, I think. Yeah. You were like, hey, I'm bringing my Switch. I just bought Mario Maker. You got to come, you know, bring your Switch, whatever. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And I don't remember whose Switch we were playing. Did we have to like pass it off because your battery yeah. died? And no, then... we passed off. We were we were downloading yours after I convinced uh-huh. you to buy it Be, because it was down. It was on cell service, so it was downloading slow as shit. Mm-hmm. And we're passing it back and forth, like until we got to like Memphis, I think. Got on like hotel Wi Fi. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, so basically we convinced Drew to hook his switch up to his phone so he could, which is an old production trick, uh, honestly, is to use like your hotspot on your phone if, yeah. you're, if your mobile hotspot dies in like a remote place. I feel like in honor of this, we should hook up. I'm going to hook up my 64. We get on Discord, and I just run through Glover. I just, like, do a whole, like, I just stream playing Glover. Can you stream Glover right now? I can't do it right now. I don't have the setup. I I have the setup, but it would take me some a while to do it. But I have Glover, I have the 64, and I have the HDMI port out. So I could get it into Discord. All right, bro. I'm... I will. I'm not. I'm gonna hold you to this, like, hundred percent. I'm holding you to this. Like, it's gotta. It's gotta be uh two weekends from now, because I can't perfect. do it next weekend. Perfect. Two weekends from now, we'll play Glover on Discord. Perfect. Love this. Bro, Love I, this. I'm putting I it on the calendar. We're doing this. You know what I think about Glover? I don't. <laughs> I don't, don't think I've ever pl- like went past that first area it's hard ever. it's so fucking hard it's dude. so hard bro <laughs> it's, it's too bro. hard it's too you hard you know what's crazy you know what's crazy what? i was that game was also released on playstation can you imagine playing that on a playstation controller yeah that's insane. like an original playstation controller wait D- is it on uh switch now no they didn't put it on as one of the Not titles. Yet. It needs to be. Also, it was so far in development of a second one that there's a prototype of Glover 2 
that I have loaded on my EverDrive that I've played. Like it's <laughs> it's crazy. That is weird. Yeah. No. Um. We should definitely do that. Definitely. Definitely. We can do it. Yeah. We'll. Uh, I've been we'll, wanting we'll to. Stream I've been wanting Twitch to stream whatever. something. I've been wanting to stream something. Um. Because really, the only games I'm playing right now, obviously Apex, and uh, Pop One. Yeah. So it's hard to stream <clears throat> Pop One, but. What's funny is they they've got like verified tags for people who do videos on a uh, pop one, and really it's like I I talked to some people on that game. And they were like, how I asked them how they got verified, and really the only way, I mean the only thing they had to do was post a video about it. Hmm. If you post a video playing it, you get verified. So there's like really low stakes in that or whatever. But yeah, I don't know I. I'm not necessarily like a gamer streamer, streamer kind yeah, of person. Yeah. Stream that shit but, to uh, Quick Sixer, dude. We we've been streaming some shit to there anyway. I think I streamed some Spider Man too. It's Miles Morales not that long ago. Oh. Yeah. I need to get up on that. I need to get yeah. on that. We could get sixty four <clears> games <throat> in there. I you'd be funny is if you stream some of that DS from the DS I sent you. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck we do that. But, <laughs> how would uh, you do that? I don't. I don't know. You would have I to think set up you'd a have camera. to have some kind of uh, like yeah, or maybe some HDMI out. Like I don't think there is. I mean, you'd you'd have to set up. I think like, it would you'd be have like, to like play it on like you know set it up like this. Have the camera pointing yeah. face down. I think no, dude. I think you have to have like a modded DS with like some kind of yeah. mini HDMI or some bullshit like hooked up to some something. I don't know. That seems kind of wild. Yeah. But Glover, oh my God, Glover! I, I, just, it's always gets brought up. It really does. I don't know how this got brought up all the way back in Pasadena. Like, how the oh, well? That's when it happened, you know. Yeah. Um, I got I got a line of sixty four games. You told me that you were on your way to collecting all the games that you had before. Did you end up getting that and yeah. more, or like? Oh yeah. Where is your sixty four games? I'll like, show you. Where do you have them? Stand by. Oh, <laughs> for those of you who are watching, who are listening on podcasts, iTunes, or whatever. Oh, that boy pulled out a whole box. I see, wait, I see 64, and I see some in the box. What boxes do you have? You so, have you have some 64 so games in the box? I bought I bought these things called... Um... I was like in, in investigating it because I don't like like collecting by the box, right? Mm-hmm. But I found this thing called Mini Box Gaming. Uh, shout out to Spawn Wave, maybe for for putting me on this, but uh, they're mini boxes. Oh, oh, that's cute. And they're like legit. How it would be like if you bought, yeah. But the game is inside of here. It is inside. Yeah, yeah. So I have that one. I have like I bought like four of them. I'm going to buy them for all of those in that in that box in that drawer. <laughs> but mm-hmm. I have Mario, uh, Banjo. Look how good they are too. Like that's how crazy. Clean. Is that right? I like that. I like I it really... because like you can only buy like they fit in like uh, in miniboxgaming.com if you want to check that that's out. Cool. Um, and I have it for Smash. Oh, and yeah. for Zelda. Nice. Um, those are the ones I have for this. But yes, I have all of my collect. Well, actually, I'm missing a few random ass things like Rush 2049, I think was one of them I'm missing. I uh, I don't have that one. I do have a Rush, though. I, I think I have Rush 1 and 2. But there yeah. were three Rush games that came out in the 64. Yeah, but also I have this is the cool. This is one of the coolest presents I've ever been given. And um, if you want to choose something else that's not, not Glover, or whatever, eventually because we're definitely streaming Glover. He he going back into stock. What's he got? What's he got? <laughs> so we're gonna do two things, by the way. 
I think I'm going to Twitch stream me reading this fairy tale book oh, for us. Yeah. B is for beer <laughs> by Tom Robbins. It uh, is legit. Just a little book. I think we're going to stream that eventually. That's funny. And if you get a chance and you're on Amazon ever, pick up the Nintendo 64 anthology. It's a book like this looks black. I got it for a Christmas present. Um, randomly, and Drew, you can attest to this. I will text a group of people, um, and be like, "Hey, pick a page number. Just pick a page number from whatever this like. I think it was like thirty four to like one whatever." Yeah, and but basically... I looked at that box, and you didn't. It didn't seem like you had like all the sixty four games. What do you, were you playing on Switch, or were you? How did you? Oh, I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you. So right. when I say pick a page number, uh, I'll find the page, right? So this is page 209, and whatever is on this page, I will pick something from that page. And, like, I could play... This is every 64 game that every came out for the system. And I'll play that on... Oh, dear boy. This. This... Oh. Is an EverDrive 64 uh, X7 uh, is the model. On the side, it has a mini SD port that your boy has every single 64 game loaded into. <laughs> okay. That's insane. This is the shit. This has unreleased games, games that people made after the 64 was discontinued. I have multiple mario 64 games on here i can play as so many all the all the characters you can play on mario 64 ds i can play on a 64 um i can play through legend of zelda ocarina of time with banjo kazooie if i wanted to <laughs> uh, it's the coolest shit ever go to cricks.com if you want to check that out it also has a store on amazon if you want to check that out but that's, that's the coolest like a, fucking present ever. That's like a, the R4 when it came out for DS. That's what I had. Mm -hmm. And you could you could go to a website, download the ROM for whatever game you wanted. And I remember going through and like finding stuff and like finding some random like ninja games and like just whatever. Yeah. Uh, that's sick. I didn't know that anything <clears throat> existed like that for the 64. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll drop it in the chat so you can check it out. But um, <clears throat> you know I got my sixty four hooked up. It's hooked I know. Up. Um, but yeah, it's some like it's some developer, like some dude, makes these fucking cards, and you can buy them in all sorts of colors, and all sorts of shit. It's it's the cool. It, it's legit. Costs like two hundred dollars for the card. Yeah, but so worth it because like if you're buying shit like like i told drew this is probably a almost a fourth of the six the north american 64 collection like mm -hmm. complete so <clears throat> i think i have like 40 40 or 50 64 games or something mm. no some more than that, maybe. Anyway, anyways, so there's games in there though that like the the resale market is so fucking crazy right now. You'll yeah. get ba you'll get games like and this will be the end of this episode, by the way. You'll get games that you'll find at like shops or whatever, like secondhand shops. Like I'll, I'll take Ogre Battle sixty four for example, right? If you can find it like a real cart, not some repro bullshit, it can go for like one hundred and sixty dollars. For a game that was not that much money back yeah. in the day, you know, and that's like Dude. for a bunch of this stuff. Like I'm Smash a bunch Bros. of these games. Smash hmm? Bros. sixty four was like that when when I was trying to find new shit. Yeah, I, I wasn't as bad as one hundred sixty, but it was like it was up there. Yeah, um, that's the that's the thing about these, uh, you know, these. Retro consoles pieces. 
You know what I'm talking yeah. about? This timeless piece. Timeless, bro. Also, like, oh, keep going. <laughs> Sorry. I was just, I was about to go on an idiot tangent. You go on it, bro. I'm going to show you something else I got. <laughs> nah, I was just, I was going to joke about like how 64, all these games and stuff is like equivalent to like whoever collects like, I don't know, guitars or like, you know, <laughs> something that actually costs money. They are getting expensive though. And it's like, <laughs> The 64, if you're going to collect for anything, the 64 is pretty durable, bro. I feel like it's going to like last, you know? It is fascinating that when that when when that motherfucker powers up, it is fascinating because you don't expect it to, no. <laughs> to turn on. And then all of a sudden it goes, Boo. yeah, you see that little that yeah. 64, the 64 logo. logo. Mm-hmm. How come I can't do this? Mm. I'm over here. Hmm. But anyways, so Drew should get the N64 plus expansion pack on Switch so he can buy a set of these. <laughs> oh, the, your boy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That that Switch, that Switch online exclusive 64 controller. USB-C. I yeah, I saw that. I saw that when that came out. I was like, because didn't that didn't the controller come out? Before the expansion, the 64, they were like, you could play on a 64 controller. No, I think they came out the same day, but oh. they, but that shit was sold out immediately. Mm. It took me like six months of close watching to actually get them. Um, How many do you have? Two. Both gray? Yeah, they don't come in different colors. You could probably get them like, modded from somebody, but. You know, you got to get that. that you got to get a clear purple. Come on. You know, I got the clear purple on the regulars. <laughs> of course you do. I, I got, got a clear cl- purple, clear orange. <laughs> oh, you got clear orange? That's I fire. So, I got clear purple. I got a gray. I got a green. Yeah. I got yellow. Ooh. Yellow well, hard. I got yellow goes hard. I got black. Ooh. Which is real hard on the new one. When I was young, I had red, blue, green. All right. uh, no, sorry, I had no, not green, gray, red, blue, gray. But now yeah. I got black. I think I have clear purple. I think I have clear orange. Black's pretty hard. Black is so good. That's my that's my go to right now. I'm like that's for sure. Right now, mine's still clear. Mine's clear purple right now. Yeah, clear purple. OG. The only thing that took me off of clear purple was Mad Cats. I hated the fact. That Mad Cats had a controller for 64 that wasn't 64 when I was a kid. Yeah. I'm saying that right, right? Mad Cats, you remember yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, brand? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They did that clear purple and it was not the br- Nintendo brand. And I yeah. was like, man, fuck this off brand clear purple shit. But I now know. 64 got the clear purple and I'm like, that's a dope shit. Yeah. 64 has all right. So shout out to 64 having the most like bomb ass colorways, you know. Shouts out. God, they need to bring back that clear plastic, bro. That shit was hard. Yeah. They, that bro. Was... I'm telling you right now, if they had, if they did a licensed clear, per, clear switch, your boy would buy it. <laughs> Damn. They I've seen I've shit, seen people it? mod it to like clear plastics, but like they're already up to OLED on that bitch. That's what I'm saying. You give me an OLED like LED switch, that shit clear. <sighs> you got it. It's yours. It's mine. I'm buying that shit day one. Go on, Nintendo. Go ahead, Tendo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, um, <clears throat> last thing before we head out on this episode. If there was a game, since you don't have the plus expansion pack uh, subscription on Switch, what uh, what game would you absolutely buy or would you absolutely subscribe for if they put it on there? For Nintendo? Yeah. Specifically a 64 game. Like, what if... What game would make you subscribe to the think, expansion pack? I mean, I'm pretty sure they already have the games. Because, like, I immediately, like, even though I have 
the Mario 64, I still bought the bundle that came with it. Because yeah. I, I don't really I didn't care about Sunshine, I didn't care about Galaxy. I, I beat Galaxy, Catherine beat Sunshine. But like 64 is like a game changer for me. So I don't know. I mean, I honestly don't know what they don't have on their catalog right now. Um uh, and I have I have everything that I wanted. 007, I have Goldeneye. Um so it would be hard. It would be hard to sell me on something, you know, like because if I really wanted to play those games, I have it on 64. So I don't mm. know. I'll tell you. Yeah, there's um I mean, I already got it, so it's like no, there's no selling me on it. Plus, I have the EverDrive, so which you need to look into. That shit is fire. Um, <clears throat> I think if I didn't own it, there's been rumors about Goldeneye coming back to it, mm. and like apparently it's done, and like a, you know, uh, Microsoft owns Rare. And they've been like teasing it, like even the even the achievements on Xbox Live have popped. Like they're they're live, yeah. But like the game's not out or whatever. So it's a, it's just like a waiting game before that thing comes out eventually. Yeah. But I think, it. dude, that would probably be the one if I didn't already own it. Yeah, that there was two shooter games that were really good. Goldeneye, obviously. It's like a classic. You can't beat that. Perfect Dark. That's the second one. And uh, Perfect Dark, I feel like I put more hours into because it was like, I guess Goldeneye had kind of like run its course and moving on to Perfect Dark. And I guess like we obsessed, me and my friends when we were playing 64, obsessed over Perfect Dark. But um, what I'm really interested to know, and this will, I guess, since we're wrapping it up, Mm-hmm. Why have we not talked about the new skate game that's coming? Skate out? four? That's not or skate just four, skate. skate yeah. Um. Well, you boys on the insider program, I'll let you know more <laughs> about that. Bro, they are Come on. a brand new skate game is coming out. Come on, for free. Crazy, crazy, crazy. as fuck, and it's gonna be for free. Um, you excited? Hell yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, skate games, have you played the the Tony Hawk Pro Skater One Plus Two? I think so. It was free on uh, yeah, PlayStation I think Plus I last it. month. Yeah, I think I bought it. I hope you did. That's just you know, you, uh, your homie Leo Baker. In Leo, I, I watched his documentary. It's uh, good. I liked it. Good. Yeah. We should it's have talked weird. about that on this episode. Huh? We should have should talked talk about, about that. Yeah. Maybe next it's, time. I will say, though, and I just the last thing I'll say is that it was very strange watching a documentary unfold having lived through it. Like, like part of it, for sure. With him during those moments of like the transition. Yeah. And like seeing seeing what they were going through was it was it was very enlightening and also like it was crazy. It was crazy because I remember fucking texting him when they had the Olympic, you know, when they had the thing all the way up to when they backed out of the Olympic thing. Mm-hmm. It's weird. I remember it was weird. you telling me. Yeah. That's so cool, though. Um, yeah, shout out to Leo. Um, actually, go back uh, in some episodes ago. Uh, Drew will break down an entire like one-on-one conversation that Drew had with them back. I don't know, probably a year ago, two years ago, mm. when this game came yeah. out, <clears throat> the Tony Hawk game. But um, we should have them on here. That would be that would be cool. Yeah. But anyways, if you have any, do you have anything else closing out before? I close out and thank these uh these wonderful breweries. Nah, uh, oh yeah, I guess I say shout out to Memphis. Thanks for um, thanks for supplying. Uh, this is some really great beer. 
Shout out to uh Memphis Mage, shout out to Hook Point. Um No, nah, I'm just uh yeah, I'm happy to be here. Love Cheers. It. Look at this. Look at look at us. Look at us. We we in that I wish it was the OG format. I wish you were right next to me. So I could look I at you. I wish I could just oh, go yeah. over here and just be like, look at you and then uh, for those who don't know, uh obviously because COVID, me and Drew haven't seen each other in what three, two years, two, three years. <laughs> it's been a while, bro. Uh, man, it's awful. But yeah, that was the most fun. The the times in Pasadena were the best of the show. Like straight up. Yeah. Also the worst. Like some some of them. Uh, shout out you boy, uh, Gabe. Shout out. You know, uh, <laughs> you boy never forgets. All right. Uh, yeah. So yeah, there's that. Shout out Medelson. Uh, <clears throat> that's the only brewery that Drew didn't shout out. This is the last of this thirty two ounces. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you later, bro. Uh, look, <laughs> look, look, I'm not fucking around. Last oh my god, it. he just filled the glass up. That's the last of that. I can uh, assure you, peaches can't come from a can. Or, I think the taste comes through more when it is a little warmer, like when it's ice cold. Like I said earlier, it kind of like tastes like a brewery smells, which is not bad. It's just that's how it is. But and it could just be this aluminum. I don't know. But uh, the peach comes through more, I think, when it warms up a little bit. And it's also I think it just has more flavor in general. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways. Close this out. Appreciate you guys hanging out. This has been a long, long episode. And uh, you know, you know, we we just we just love it. You know, when it, when it's your boys, Pat and Drew, we just love it when you hang out with us, have some beers, you know, yeah, kick back, sure. whatnot, you know. I hope y'all had some beers while we was talking because it was them. a long one. Yeah. And if you hadn't had a beer yet, if you just been listening, I, I encourage you. To go deal for it right now. Grab I know you've got a green boy, you got something. Ooh, grab the green is in soldiers, bro. Yeah, soldiers, bro. <laughs> Please grab something for me. Oh shit. Do that and for he, me. Yeah, do that for him. Um, stay tuned. Eventually you'll see our Glover uh Twitch stream. I gotta set it up. You literally have to. I will a hundred percent stream that. Now. I'll stream that with you for hours. Um, shout out to Metalsome. Peaches come from a can. Shout out to Hook Point Brewing. Shout out to Memphis Made Brewing. Um, I wanted to tell the story about <clears throat> me going out of Memphis, but it's kind of like uh, inconsequential at this point. Um, mm -hmm. But like, you know, shout out to all, all three of these breweries supporting the show. We really, really, really appreciate it. It's, it's, we've been doing this show for seven years now on and off. And it's very cool that people still support it and like are really in, you know, in for it. Cause, you know, we're, we're trying to, I don't know, we're, we're trying to have a good time, but we're also trying to help everybody out, spread the word about everybody's stuff. And, uh, if we can help you do that, then we did our job. So, shout out to you guys. It's your boys, Pat and Drew. That classic quick sixer. Woo. We out. <laughs> Bye.